Can you say upload? All right, yo, listen, it's it's amazing because um, in today's society, in this era, in today's world, right, we have words that exist that did not exist when we were younger. We have words that are so much a part of our culture, that are part of our vernacular that we use today that were not around years ago. So much so that these new words are not only used by us as adults, but they are used by our children. Right. Uh, Back in the day when I was young, there was no event, there was no circumstance for me to use the word Wi-Fi. I, I, th- 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 there was no situation in which the word Wi-Fi would be used. Yet my daughter knows not only what Wi-Fi is, but she also knows when it isn't working. <laughs> there was no word such as the internet, right? There was no like we did not know like no one used the internet in a in a phrase or, or or a sentence. Now today, if you don't know what the internet is, we look at you like something is wrong. The word online, the word online literally meant online. (laughs) If you were online, I knew where you were. You were probably at a store. You were probably at an event. And guess what? You were standing with other people in the line. So where am I? I am online. Even today, right, like, yo, everybody's compelled to share their stories, to upload their stories and share their stories. Back in the day, like, like, like what a story was, a story was a soap opera back in the day, right? My grandmother, she would watch her stories, and that was the Young and the Restless General Hospital, and that, and that meant don't bother her because she is watching her story. Zoom. Zoom meant you was driving fast, <laughs> Or you was doing something with much speed, right? A scan was something that maybe when you when you got we got an X-ray, but you, you wasn't doing those scans at home, right? Right? These are all words again that we use today that weren't in existence when we were growing up. And one of the words that we're going to focus on today is the word upload. Can you say upload? Can you say upload? See, here's the thing. If you use social media, if you use a computer, if you use, hallelujah, even your phone, right? If if you use these things, you understand what an upload is. You see, the word upload in the Greek is translated to the word uploadia. I actually made that up. I thought that would be funny. (laughs) There is no upload in the Greek. That's why you got to check with people like, in the Greek, it was, nah, there's it's, it's no upload here in the Greek. I'm, I'm joking with that, right? Uh, but the definition of the word upload means to transfer software or data from one computer to another. Again, it means to transfer data from one computer to another computer or to another server. Basically, it means to load up. It means to lo- load up. It's moving data from one place to another. That's what upload means, right? But, but, but I want us to focus on the word upload, not as it relates to data in terms of music, uh, uh, in terms of uh, documents, but I want us to focus on the word data as it relates to pictures. Come on now. You've uploaded some pictures, right? And, and, and here's the thing, right? Uh, um, we, when we upload pictures, right, it's, it's funny because I want you to think of the word upload as the word sharing. As the word sharing, right? Because when I upload my pictures, I'm making a conscious deci- the decision to share an image. I'm making a conscious decision to invite you into an experience that I either experienced or something that I saw. I- I'm authorizing this image to be seen by others. When we upload something to social media, we are making a conscious decision to share that event. And it's funny because, listen, when you upload an image like, yo, you don't upload just any image. You upload a specific image that comes from a specific angle. (laughs) Come on. Come on. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Some of our pictures we know... If, it, if the camera was a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, 
There might be some undesirable seeings in that picture. But like, yo, when we take a picture and we hit that right angle, when we hit them with them angles, right? Boom. Like, yo, if, if, if it's the right angle, it, it's like literally that picture can turn into a masterpiece. Which again go, go, goes into a whole nother teaching about it's important how you view things. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that another time. But when we upload, we share those images. And we upload them because they're beautiful and they're worth sharing. But here's the thing, right? Yo, as much as like words are powerful, a powerful thing, like images are much more powerful than words. This is why Instagram blew up. Literally, everybody was on Facebook. Everybody was like, you know, like on, on you was on MySpace first, if, if you from when I was coming up, or, or Black Planet, right? Right? And then you transitioned to Facebook, and Facebook was popping, but all of a sudden, Instagram came into the picture, and Instagram literally changed the game. Why? Because Instagram didn't focus on just your, your, your status updates. It focused on pictures. Why? Because people will remember an image before they'll remember a word. According to marketing industry influencer Krista Neher, the human brain can process images up to 60,000 times faster than words. Like, 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 like yo, grasp that. The human brain can process a picture 60,000 times more faster than a word. The point, is, the, the, the point is with a picture, you can convey so much more information than what you can with words. In fact, it can take a thousand words just to describe one picture. So people will remember the, people will remember the word more if it's attached to a what? If it's attached to a what? If it's attached to a picture or if it's attached to an image, people will remember the word more if it's attached to a picture. And marketing specialists are learning this. They've been researching this and learning this throughout time, um, um, seeing how important it is. And what people are now discovering, guess what? God already knew. God already knew. That's why even for God, right, yo, the word had to become what? Flesh. Let, 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 let's read it, John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Let's skip down to verse 14. It says this, And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. So, like, literally think about this. Like, like, and again, I want us to, to use Instagram and, and use your social media as a, as, a, as a platform to kind of understand this message. That literally Jesus was the word. He was the, he, he was the program uh, uh, behind the system, right? But even in him being a program behind the system, even in him being the, 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 the words uh, 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 behind the site, like, literally the word had to become an image so we could experience it. Verse 6 says this, uh, verse 7 says this, he came as a witness to testify concerning the light. Um, bah, 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 hold on, hold on. I know, let's go to verse 11. It says, he came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. He came, right? So, so literally it's saying that, yo, the, the word came as an image, right? The word came as an image, and some people did not receive the image, but for yet, yet for all those who did receive him and believed in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. He gave them the right to become family. This is what God did, right? So God literally sent Jesus into the world as an upload. God literally sent Jesus into the world as an upload. His first original upload, right? Yeah, he made Adam and Eve, and yes, throughout the word, we see different pictures of people, right? But Jesus, hallelujah, what was conceived by the Holy Spirit and Mary, and he was an original upload, hallelujah. He was the word made into an image 
so that we can see why. Because images speak more powerful than words. The word became an image, right? And so, yo, this is the part I want us to grasp in that, right? Because it's like, yo, God did not send Jesus just to be an image for us to see and to worship. So imagine God having an Instagram account. And God uploaded his son as an image. But he did not just, he did not just upload his son to be an image for us to worship. Uh, 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 he, he didn't upload uh, Jesus as an image on earth uh, uh, for, for you to just sit there and just look at him like the whole time. Well, look at Jesus right there. He didn't set up a fence around Jesus so he can be an attraction for, for, for you to come into. He didn't set Jesus up as a piece in the tabernacle just to be there. No, he uploaded him as an image, right? But then he also tagged him. <laughs> Why did he tag him? Because not only is Jesus, was Jesus meant to be an image, he was meant to be what? A user. Jesus wasn't meant to be an image. He was meant to be what? A user. Why? Because me and you, we have our Instagram accounts. We have our accounts. Guess what? We're users too. But God said, listen, not only am I going to send you an image of, of what, I want, what I want you to be, what I want you to see, but guess what? He's going to be a user just like you. He's going to be a user just like you. That's why in the word it says, yo, the image, like, yo, the image became flesh, right? But he also dwelt among us. That word dwelt means that he resides with, he resided with us. Or it means that he camped with. Right? So Jesus didn't come to be this, this idol to be worshipped. He didn't come to be that. As a matter of fact, every time he did something great, he pointed it back to the Father. As a matter of fact, he never said to worship me. If anything, he says, well, what we say on our Instagram, he said, yo, follow me. <laughs> he never said worship me. He never set the disciples up to pray around him. He never said to set the disciples up just to wash his feet. No, he said, yo, I am the example. I'm going to wash your feet. I am a user just like you. So what becomes the point of the uploaded? Hey. What becomes the point of the uploaded, right? Because once I saw the picture of Christ and I saw that he was a user, I also clicked on the tag and it took me to his page. So what's the point of the uploaded? The point of the uploaded is to begin to, up, to, be, to be an uploader. <laughs> Jesus didn't come to be an image just to be worshipped. No, he said, yo, come check out my page and come check out my uploader. Check out the work that I do. Also, check out my stories. <laughs> check out my stories. And listen, you know you know on Instagram you have those hourly stories when you do your uploads and you upload your videos and you share those experiences. Hallelujah. Jesus said, listen, I'm not just an image to be worshipped, but watch me work and check out my stories. The uploaded had to become an uploader. The uploaded had to become an uploader. Why? And yo, this is the part that bugs me out. Because if I own a business, can I talk to y'all? If I own a business and I send my son to that business, I'm, not only am I sending him in my authority, I'm sending him with the ability to check everybody in the building. <laughs> I'm not going to come down to the office. I'm sending my son to the office with my authority and with my power, right? And he doesn't wait in the waiting room. He goes right to the big office to set everything straight. But Jesus, but God in his knowledge, God in his love, sent his son to the office as a receptionist, as a simple user, to be an example of how the business should be run from the user perspective. Blows, blows my mind, yo. It blows my mind. He sent him in the form of a receptionist, in the lowly form, and he said, watch him work. 
watch my upload work. And what did the upload again do? What did the upload do? He began to upload. And so what it was, and, and so yo, as we are moving in this message, I want you to understand that you are uploaded by God. If you exist in this world, God has sent you as an upload, and your job as the uploaded is to begin to upload. Your job as the uploaded is to, is to begin to share stories of God's goodness, to begin to share stories of God's power. To begin to share stories of God's grace. In the same way you share your Thanksgiving pictures and, and, and your Thanksgiving food in your place, God is sharing, share, share my food of life. Share my food of light. Hallelujah. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. You can't upload what you haven't already downloaded. You can't upload that which hasn't been downloaded. Show me your Thanksgiving plate. I didn't take any pictures. How can I show it to you? I'm going to have to draw it. <laughs> I was sitting right here. <laughs> but it's not as effective as the picture, right? So, yo, in order for me to upload an event, I have to download it. And, and, and in order for me to download it, hallelujah, even with my phone, yo, that means I have to capture it. Hallelujah. I have to capture it. I have to capture it into my device so then, then I can share it. But here is, here's the problem. We're, we're unable to upload and show the power of God because we haven't been in the space where we've downloaded and captured the presence of God. I want to upload. How can you upload when you have no downloads? You can't upload. And here's the thing. There are people, yo, Instagram is so dope, right, that even if you don't have anything to upload, you can share other people's story. You can share other people's story. And listen, I'm not knocking sharing other people's stories. I'm not knocking sharing great things that people do. But who wants to live a life where you only share other people's events? Who wants to live a life where you only share other people's stories and their moments, but you never have an original moment of your own? God is saying in this season, yo, can I upload you? I know Beyonce said, can I upgrade you? But God is saying, can I upload you? Can I transfer you? Can I put you into a new space? Can I put you into a new arena? But hallelujah, I can't upload that which hasn't downloaded. So how do I download? How do I get to a place? Yo, I want to upload. I, 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 I want to be in the space to share my story. But I have to download. I have to do Psalms 119 and 9 says this. How can a young man keep his way pure? How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the rules of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies, I delight as much as in all your, 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 your riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statu statutes. I will not forget your word. You cannot be in a position to upload if you have not stored the word in your heart as a download. It can't happen. That's why Jesus, even in sharing his highlights, even in sharing his stories, you go on Jesus' Instagram, listen, walked on water. Turn water to wine. Water, you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. Right? These are all stories of his highlights. These are all uploads. These are all moments with Jesus. But they also, uh, 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 he also, but in order to do that, he also had to have moments for the download. There was moments when Jesus got away from everybody to be with the Father. 
There were moments of download. There were moments of processing. There, 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 there were moments of, of, of literally putting things in the trash. Why? Because I have to be able to create space for a new download. Some of us were still functioning on the old uh, OS. We're functioning on the old operating system, yet God is saying there's a new download, hallelujah. And I want you to begin to do some new uploads, some new works. But in order, hallelujah, to make space for the download, there must be some deletes of some files. There must be some deletes of some files. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But here's the thing. There are, uh, there are those of us who can't receive the download because there isn't enough space. But then there are some of us who can't receive the download because we have things that have hardened our heart and they're blocking us from new revelation. There's those of us who have veils, curtains that are blocking the download that the Lord wants to give us. And it's resulted in us having a hardened heart and a hardened mind. This is not something that is new. Second Corinthians 3 and 12 walks us through this. This is going to be the last verse I share. I got more, but this will be the last verse I share. Today, on today. <laughs> Second Corinthians 3 and 12 says this. Since we have such glorious hope, such joyful, confident expectation, we speak, we speak very freely and openly and fearlessly. We do not act like Moses, who put a veil over his face so that the Israelites might not gaze upon the finish of the vanishing splendor which had been upon him. In fact, their minds were grown hard and callous. They had become dull and had lost the power of understanding. For until this present day, when the Old Testament, the Old Covenant is being read, the same veil still lies on their hearts, not being lifted to reveal that in Christ it is made void and done away. Yes, down to this very day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies upon their hearts and minds. But whenever a person turns, come on, you can start playing right there. Whenever a person turns in repentance to the Lord, the veil is stripped away. The veil is stripped off. Now the Lord is a spirit, right? Come on, y'all know this part. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty emancipation from bondage and there is freedom there's some of us who have that veil that veil of disappointment that veil of hurt that veil of messed up expectations and it has hardened our hearts and minds but in this word, as we just read, he said this, if you want that veil to be removed, hallelujah, then you must come and repent. It says, but whenever a person is in repentance to the Lord, but whenever a person turns in repentance to the Lord, the veil is stripped. Verse 18 says this, and all of us, come on, and all of us, as with unveiled face, because we continue to behold the word of the Lord as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are constantly being transfigured into his very own image. He's saying this, that when the veil is removed and you sit before me, hallelujah, and my glory shines upon you, hallelujah. If you stay long enough in my presence, there's a transfiguration that's going to happen. There's a transformation that's going to happen, and you will literally change in your image. 
constantly being transfigured into his very own image in ever increasing splendor and from one degree of glory to another from the Lord who is a spirit hallelujah 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 God is looking for us He's looking for the uploaded to become uploaders. He's looking for us to have experiences with him that can be shared and experienced by others. Everything that Jesus uploaded and shared, people was like, wow, that's amazing. And what did he do? He pointed them back to the one who uploaded him. He pointed them back to the Father. That is how the gospel is supposed to be transferred. That was how the gospel is supposed to be, be communicated. But if, but if we are not in a place where we are, hallelujah, uploading the glory of the Lord, if we're not uploading our story, if we're not sharing what God is doing, hallelujah, then the message doesn't spread. The message doesn't spread. you can't upload without a download so right now wherever you are just open up your arms to the father just open up your arms to the father listen close out every program running around in your mind Press the X button and close out every window that's open, hallelujah, and begin to ask God, hallelujah, what are the files that need to be deleted, hallelujah, because I want to up, I want to download the new operating system, hallelujah, because the new operating system allows you to do more. Stop being in the space of comfortable. I, I'm, I'm good with, with, with Windows 10. No, God is saying take on the new program, but I need space for the download. Oh, and once you get the download, there's an expectation of some uploads. There's an expectation of sharing some stories, but right now, hallelujah, some of us need to delete the old stories. Let go of that old story. That doesn't define you, my sister. That doesn't define you, my brother. Let that thing go. And here's the thing. Some of us, we get accounts and we say, you know what? I need to start a new account. God is saying, no, just delete the old things on the gallery. <laughs> Because as you spend time with me, I'm not going to throw away the person. He said, I'm going to transfigure you. <laughs> I'm going to transform the image. Why? Because images speak more than words. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this moment, Lord, of being with you. We thank you, Lord God that you didn't send your son as a statue to be worshipped, but you sent him as a user who was an example of how to function, who was an example of how to download, who was an example of how to upload, who was an example of the stories that can be done in your glory, Lord. And you were looking for those stories to be repeated in us. Hallelujah. Lord, help us to do what's necessary to make room for you. Because there's a work. There's a, there, there's a urge. Listen. Like, yo, this is not like just a cute preach message. Like, yo, there's a sense of urgency. There's a sense of urgency. Things, things are coming to a conclusion. Things are coming to a point and God is saying, I'll know who you are by what you share. No, people, that's not really me. No, no, you, you, you uploaded that. 
We know who you are by what you share. And so God is asking us in this moment, it is a reckoning for the church. It is a reckoning for us as individuals. What does that upload look like? So Lord, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for your word. Lord God, we thank you that you want to use us. Us. Who is us? Your sons and daughters. Your children. You want to use us to bring to bring glory to your name. You don't want to use us to be worship, but you want to use us, hallelujah, as images to point back to you. Everything that we do, we tag you in. Why? Because we did it through him. Hallelujah. Greatest is he that is in me and he that's in the world. We point back to you, oh Father, just as the son did. And so we thank you for this, Lord. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 What an awesome on-time word, guys. So we just want to tell you, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining us. Was that not a good word? Are you ready to capture, to be captured in God's presence so that he may download into you what needs to happen within the world so you may upload it and change the world? Come on, y'all. That was an awesome on-time word, and we can't wait for the second part next Sunday. We want to thank everyone for coming out, for coming on and sharing and we just ask that you have a blessed week in jesus name amen see you guys bye bye